Welcome back guys to another Clash Royale video. Today we're taking a look at a so-called super combo as deemed by Supercell themselves. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Supercell came out with three commercials advertising these super combos. The first I've already done a video on, that was the Red Deadhead combo, which is the Valkyrie as well as the Giant Skeleton. The second we're taking a look at today, the Mini Picket as well as the Skeleton Army. And the third and final one, I'll probably do a video on a little bit later on, that's the Barbarian Hut with the Spear Goblin Hut. But like I said, today we're taking a look at the Mini Picket Skarmy combo. I am using it in a Hog Rider deck, and I also have the Goblin Barrel, the Furnace, and the Fire Spirit in there. This to try and bait up my opponent's spells like Zap Spell and Log, and that'll free me up to go in with the Mini Pekka Skarmy combo afterwards. Now, if you guys are fortunate enough to have the Miner, go ahead and use the Miner instead of the Hog Rider. It will work in this deck. In fact, I might do two battles first with the Hog Rider, and then finish two battles with the Miner instead. But let's go ahead here, do our first live challenge battle with this deck. So here we go, guys. Facing off against Christina. Let's see here. Like I said before, I have the Furnace, the Fire Spirits, as well as the Goblin Barrel in there to try and bait out spells. This deck is a little bit weak against air. I will say that, guys. If you want better air defense, go ahead and use a Mega Minion instead of the... Instead of the fur or instead of the fire spirit, sorry. Or use archers. Archers are making a pretty good comeback right now. He's coming in pretty aggressively though. The one thing I love about the furnace is over time, it puts on pressure and it's and it does decent damage. And you can force cards out of your opponent's card rotation with that furnace. Let's go ahead and do this with this. Take out that musketeer, please. There we go. If you can take out the ice wizard too, that'll be uh, pretty good there. And let's go ahead and just use another Furnace right here. I want to just keep putting pressure on the right-hand side with those Fire Spirits from that Furnace. You can probably keep Fireballing it throughout the battle. Which is okay by me, because otherwise, that's one less spell for the Goblin Barrel and the Skarmy. But as you can see, over time, those Fire Spirits are just kind of tipping away. Chipping away, I should say. Let's Fireball that. There we go. We'll zap to cycle this. He's probably going to use a miner on the left hand side. There it is. So let's fire spirits the miner and then mini P.E.K.K.A. the musketeer there. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and goblin barrel on the right hand side. There we go. Boom. He's going to zap that. There it is. And I'm I'm just trying to bait out those zap spells with those goblin barrels is all. Let's go ahead and do a skarmy right here. There we go. Boom. And we'll do another Furnace right here, guys. Come on. Get to the tower there. Boom. Look at that tower on the right-hand side, guys. Look at it. Just from those Fire Spirits and those couple of Goblin Barrels. Let's go ahead and do this. Mini Picket right here. There we go. And we'll Goblin Barrel right here. And then drop his Garmy right here. He's already... He's gonna, he has to zap that on the right-hand side. Maybe not. Boom. Oh, that fire spirit on those musketeers was value, guys. Because look at this. Boom. Dead. We're going to ignore that miner. Just kind of build up an elixir advantage. Mini pick at this musketeer right here. I want to try and get a chance to use this combo. This super combo. But I have to wait for the zap spell to be gone. You can't use that super combo when the zap spell is there. Let's do this. He's going to fireball that. Let's use a hog rider to pull that knight back there. We'll cycle some fire spirits, and then we are going to go in super combo right here, guys. Here we go. Super combo on the right. Don't zap, please. And come on. There we go. Tower is dead. Good game. Let's go ahead and do one more battle with this deck here. So here we go. Facing off against Grander. Porky Pork. Uh, some clan names are just so hilarious. So we have the furnace in our starting hand. We can go ahead and start with that on one of these sides right there. Now, let's see here. What do we want to do to counter that, counter that princess? Um, let's hog rider this side here. Mini peck it right here. And oh, that wizard is going to do work to my hog rider. We're going to fire spirits this princess while she's distracted. Boom. Um, and we have nothing to answer this wizard here, guys. So let's go ahead and uh, fireball it. There we go. And we'll scar me the hog rider. I, 
I didn't want to use, obviously you don't want to use a Skarmie on a wizard. But uh, hopefully those skeletons, never mind, princess. Let's go ahead and do this right here. Should have used that on the other side. And then we'll have to use... I want to use Goblin Barrel here and then Fire Spirits to kill the princess. I don't want to use my mini picker to kill that princess. That would be... Oh, he missed the Zaspal there, guys. And then those Fire Spirits go in and get further chip damage done. Look at that. Boom. They do about 150 damage, if my math is correct, per hit. Let's go ahead and... Mini Pekka. Oh, I knew that was coming. Oh, how did I not... How did I fall for that, guys? Let's scar me in the back to kill the wizard, because the wizard is distracted. There we go. And he's going to Princess right here. No, he's going to Archers. But the Skeletons should get one... Just one. Only one hit off. We have to we have to damage lead here so far, but we have to be careful, guys. This could go, honestly, either way still. Boom, let's zap that. Save some health on the Furnace. Allow the tower to finish off those archers. So things are still pretty equal here. He does have the damage lead, but like I said, with his deck, it really does excel in overtime. So I want to do a naked hog rider here. Have the fireball for the wizard. Oh, barbarians. Let's fireball those barbarians, though. Boom. Then we'll fire spirits right here. Oh, we're going to furnace over this side. Give a little bit of extra distance for the giant to travel there. Then we're going to go ahead and mini pick it back here. While the wizard is distracted, we'll scar me as well. Goblin barrel right here. And then a hog rider right here. Hog rider should protect that uh, mini pekka. And the fire spirit should be able to go in there and do some work. There we go. Boom. So, let's go ahead and scar me right here. We'll mini pick it back here to distract everything back there. And that should be it, guys. That should be it. GG to him. Let's go ahead and throw in the Miner instead of the Hog Rider and just try it out. So here we are with the Miner instead of the Hog Rider, just to show you guys that it does work with the Miner as well. He's coming in pretty aggressive there. The Bomber is already down by the time I loaded into the game, but I'm not going to support this. I don't want to go way too aggressive at the start here. Um, let's just Furnace to kill those Skarmy. Boom and boom. Come on, tower, take them out. Okay, we took a couple hits in the furnace, which isn't ideal. Better than nothing, though. Let's see here. With this deck here, what I want to try and do is bait out the Zaspel. Go in with a minor Golden Barrel Mini Pick a Skarmy combo. Let's see here. Hopefully those Fire Spirits over time will just do a bit of damage. He's going to rocket. We're going to go super aggressive here, guys. He zaps that. The goblin's going to do work there, guys. Bam. That's why I said the fire spirits, like, they were so aggressive. Like, there's five fire spirits there. All together, they would have done a ton of damage. He was forced to zap it. But that also opened it up for the, uh, for that goblin build to do work. Let's go ahead and mini pick at that. Then we'll scar me back here. And see if he zaps it. Nope. I should have expected the wizard there, guys. We should have. Mini Pekka is still getting a hit off though. And the skeleton's finishing it off, guys. Wow! The super combo is right. That's crazy, guys. I'm expecting something here, so let's fireball that. Boom, there we go. Um, let's minor this. Bomber does too much damage to ignore him. I think the bomber does 300 damage per hit, and he probably would have got two hits off. He left the battle, guys. He left the battle. Of course, I don't have any aggressive cards in my hand when he left. But, uh, that's... I don't think he's coming back. I think he raged. Honestly, though, guys, if you're using a rocket cycle deck, I wouldn't suggest just rocketing a tower by itself like that. Always try and get value for it. Always try and hit a building. Or, let's go ahead and Goblin Barrel and Super Combo, guys. Super Combo right here. Always try and get value for your rockets. The reason he lost that push there was because he rocketed a tower by itself. And I just counter pushed immediately. But there we go. Getting the three crown in a couple seconds. Boom. Towers down. Three crown victory. Let's go ahead and do another battle with this minor deck. So here we go, guys. Once again, facing off against Lucas. Now, in your opinion, let me know in the comments below. Do you prefer the hog deck or the minor deck? Which version of this super combo would you prefer to use? Let's furnace the same lane as his furnace. But he placed his between the towers there, which is interesting. 
I don't have a hog runner though, so it doesn't really make a difference. Alright, let's go ahead and fire spirits right here. Then we'll zap it. He's using a very similar deck, guys. I wonder if he's using the super combo as well. I wonder if he's using a super combo as well. Let's go ahead and scar me this and this and just be stupid, guys. Log? Does he have the log? No, he's got that, which is going to kill us. We're dead. But those goblins doing a bit of damage there, guys. Yes, they did. Let's go ahead and fire spirits right here. Boom. Oh, he fireballed, but it's already too late. Let's furnace right here. Never mind. Oh, boom. And oh, no. I furnace too aggressively. His fire spirits hit my furnace, which isn't ideal. Taking away some health, losing some value. But let's see here. What am I going to do now? He's got the golem barrel, so we want to try and keep our Zaspel for that. I want to fireball this because I can't do super combo with that up. Thankfully, we got two of the fire spirits in there as well. Um, but I just remembered he has minion horde. Oh, he has minion horde, guys. Let's zap this. Boom. Zap that. There we go. Skeleton army killing his skeleton army. Notice the location that I use that skeleton army, though, guys. If you're defending against the skeleton army, don't place yours directly on top. Why would you use minion horde when you have fire spirits coming down? That is... Well, we got a free tower there, guys. But like I said, positioning does matter. I use the skeleton army in the middle of my base just to get them time to spawn so they can defend themselves before they get killed. If you use a skeleton army directly on top of an opponent's skeleton army, they'll die before they spawn. But furnaces will cancel out here. I am going to go ahead and minor right here and fireball this. Just because... I want to take out that furnace to go in with a super combo. Let's see here. Mini Pekka right here. And we'll zap this Goblin Barrel right here. Let's go in with this. And the Skeleton Army right here. Goblin Barrel right here. Miner right here. Look at that Skeleton Army. Just do work, guys. The Mini Pekka is one health left. It's still alive. Zap these Skeletons here. Boom. Boom is right, guys. Wow. Fireball this once again. Skarmy here. The Skarmy is a strong counter to Goblin Barrel, guys. Let's do this. And zap this. Boom. There we go. Two crown victory. Anyways, guys, that will be the end of the video. Let me know what you think about this super combo in the comment section below. When the commercial first came out, a lot of people made fun of it because, of course, the Skeleton Army back then was useless. But ever since that balance changed, everything has changed. The Skarmy is a very strong card right now, and this super combo was actually a pretty super combo. Anyways, guys, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.